What's going on everybody? It's Randy with G4 Outdoors. Stick around, stick around. I'm sitting out here and Andy from Cut and Clean's truck. He doesn't want to film this backyard that he's mowing right now because he's a little ashamed of all the dandelions in it. It's not his fault. He's called the customer and asked if he could spray the lawn. They didn't want that service. They like the pretty flowers in the backyard. They say it helps the bees out, but I don't know. It's a little excessive. So, so I'm recording for him all day long. So it's my job to get the content out today. He edits it tonight and then gets it out to you guys. So I'm just gonna stick you on a fence and I'm gonna make him record this yard anyway. Enjoy the dandelions. I'm out. Back, back, back from the dead. So they all can't be pretty, they all can't be the best yards, they all can't stripe the best. So, so, but I appreciate everybody sticking around. The uh, side yard here, it's just got a bunch of different types of grass in it, so it, it doesn't grow very tall, it doesn't stripe very well. So it's one of them that he doesn't record too often. He may have once or twice. And right back here we have a small little bit of area that just takes a couple seconds to mow. <coughs> and actually right here in the backyard, all we do is weed eat back there. You can weed eat and do that whole backyard in just a couple minutes. So this is another yard that he doesn't like to show, but I'm showing you. There'll be another one coming up. So that was 22 minutes, gate down, and now he's back in the truck. Easy money. One more to go. This one here, I. <coughs> now this one here, I, I kind of get. I mean, they are trying to grow new grass on here, but I'm kind of happy about the the uh, progress of this yard. When we first came out here, this grass was a good foot a good foot tall. And you can see how that we've we've cleaned it up. It took a lot of weed eating and a lot of mowing and a lot of trips out here just to get it to look in the way it does. They are cleaning it up. It's a small yard. You know, they all make money. And you can see how little it is. This is one of the smaller properties at that. It's a quick trip in and out. They all make money. They all can't be good.
I think that guy was compensating for something. up on the last yard they have a uh, Missouri Department of Conservation ground over here that they don't take care of they just let it grow up naturally weeds and everything stay in there so 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 he just pays me to stand around and film I mean I'm Paid a hundred dollars just for today, just to film. <laughs> well, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Today, I ran 14 properties in eight hours, and I will always go back to talking about route density. Before, I was just picking stuff up here and there, and I was struggling to get like eight done in a day. But now that I'm saying no to everything scattered and yes to everything in, I can get so much more done during the day as a solo owner operator. And that's where your money's going to come into play. So like always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you for watching. We're going to see you in the next one. <laughs>